What up, everybody? Jimmy here. We got Siege this week against Canadian A. Um, we already knocked down the Armed Island. I'm going to take some hits on the Toy Island since it's getting close. Um, make sure we are on the Toy Deck. We are. And here we go. Let's see what this... Let's see if I remember what actually is in this. Um, I just made sure I was on a Toy Deck. Uh, we got Boston up first, leads out with a fused candy cane gun. All right, we are going to go with, let's go Woodchuck and see what they do. They go with a Zap, so we are going to go Street Fighter Peter. We guaranteed we'll knock out slot one and get a pretty much free shot on it there. We knock out slot one again, and we will set up a Steve in slot two. Yeah, we're knocking this down. It'll be over right here. We will take that win. All right. Let's see here. Up next we are going to have... Because we're going to keep going on this toy island. That worked. Uh, we got Knuckles up next. Leads out with a Kentucky Slims. All right. That's stressed out, stressed out, and stressed out. So we are going to go with the highest attack chip. And let's get that just rolling. We'll get 34 craze out of that. We'll go ahead and boost that up with some motivate. And it'll be over right there because we're already up to 120 and it finishes at 158 attack. All right. I was hoping for video game Leela, but stressed out work too. We'll go ahead and go again. We run into Boston again. All right. Leads out with a Louise. So we are going to go with... Let's go with the highest attack item we got, Rupert Recalls. We go with Toy Block Snot. We may or may not knock that down immediately. We'll throw that War Horse out there to get some more stuff going. It's block with an item, but it is over right there. We are good. I'll take that win. Up next, we are going to have... Who do we get? We get... Master 151 leads out with a Bill. Bill's toy is Santa Bill with the Motivates. So they are not running that at the moment. So we are going to go with the uh, Boob Tube and try and punch that out. We'll set up that War Horse. For some reason, I keep drawing that War Horse every match. There's literally one of them. Um, so we'll uh, set up a Toy Block Snot out on the end. With the punches and so forth, we are good to go. We take that win down. All right. Keep going. We got... What do we have? We end up with Caprice Angel. All right. Leads out with a Bob. And I get Leela. We're going to go with the Mythic Leela and see what they throw. They do not combo, and we draw a higher attack item. We will go ahead with that. We'll throw a War Horse on there. I'm not real worried about Bob hijacking that at the moment. And, yeah, we're taking it down right here again. Yeah, I'm getting dinged up out on the end, taking hits. But this is Siege, not Rumble, so I'm not real worried about that. If I can get that slot one crazing, we are good to go. All right, we are halfway through. We'll see who we get next. It is Quagmire. Unfortunately, there's no Quagmire Hero, so he has to use Dale. And then throws a stand, so he's all over the board with all the uh, different variations of shows in this particular thing. Now, normally I would be way more concerned about that clarinet stand with the hijack and payback and leech, but I am going to one-shot that right off the board, so I don't have to worry about that. There we go. All right. We have four left. Here we go. We got Knuckles again. All right. There are only nine people on this island, so I'm going to catch dupes. Uh, we're going to go mini car racing, and they go Peter. We're going to go ahead and do a video game and try and get rid of that. Throw some more Motivate out there, and let's get even more punch on the board. There we go. Everything disappears. We'll take that victory. We do appreciate Zap as the hero. Uh, Zap was one of my favorite characters in Futurama. Some of the YouTube compilations of just Zap are some of my favorites. Okay, we get Quagmire again. Um, we'll throw Rupert Recalls and see what they do. There is a Beer Water. We're going to go with Snot. We almost get the 
board clearing. We'll do a nanny cam, and it is over right there. We will take that win. All right, we got what? One left, two left? We got two left. Let's see if we can go 10 for 10 on this. We run into Master 151 again. So I was doing good, and then I started catching duplicates. So that's okay. We'll go ahead and do a mini car racing. We kind of know what to expect. We'll throw that video game Leela out there. We'll set up a die of power. And, yeah, let's go ahead and make that toy block snot. That'll be a win. All right. We got... What do we got? We've got... One left. Here we go. Do we get somebody new? Do we get somebody new? We do not. We get Caprice Angel again. All right. Leads out with a Rogers Closet. Um, we're going to go Leela and see which way they go. They do not combo, so I'm going to go... 38 craze, wow. Um, 38 attack already with punch and burn. We're going to go with video game Leela. I probably should have gone the other way. Ouch, that hurt. But it's okay. We'll go ahead and motivate and just take the win right there. All right, so that'll be a 10 for 10 against the Toy Island of Canadian A. Um, we have the Big Game Challenge or Big Game Clash starting tomorrow. This could be terrible. Um, probably not as bad as last week's, but this still could be terrible. Um, we got... That's all we got. That Rumble's coming up later this week. And then... Oh, yeah. Uh, for anybody that doesn't care, they can tune out now. We're going to talk about the Valentine's calendar for a minute. Now, when they put this out, it was on the timer of the other two calendars here, February and Seven Day. But they put it out after the daily reset, as they call it. Um, so you only had 10 hours, maybe, to claim that first day. So then people were like, oh, okay, so we missed that and then had to pay. So that's why they sent out the gems for that. And then they didn't bother telling anybody that on day three, the heart-shaped box there, uh, day three, five, eight, and 13... You had to pay 100 gems for those. So now all of a sudden people are clicking on going, uh, what's going on with that? Why are we paying gems? Because the message that they sent said, log in and able to claim. Even right here on this screen, it just says log in and claim. So people were not expecting paid. Um, so we've also seen, um, according to their amazing Discord, which I kind of hate the fact that they make us use that, the available once all other rewards are unlocked down at the bottom, whether that's actually a, a reward. Somebody on there that claims to work for them and has their, whatever it is, orange name, says that is actually just a descriptor for days 10 and 14, which would mean that you don't get the um, legendary cards unless you buy the daily things. The uh, heart-shaped boxes. Other people are claiming that it's that's the reward that you get for all 14 days and that 10 and 14 you get anyway. So I'm hoping it's the latter, that you just that's a 15th reward for doing all 14 days. I'm going to burn the gems for the 400 anyway. That's less than it would cost to get one of the daily mastery things. So... And I'm not really in a spot to go burn into a box anyway, so yeah, why not? I'll burn 400. So there was some confusion about this. If they had just announced that some of the days were pay at the beginning, there'd probably be a lot less ill will from some people. Um, I know there were some very, very uh, disgruntled people in the Discord that day when they found out they had to buy stuff. But even here, it just says log in and claim in the game where you actually are on that thing and missed days can be purchased it doesn't say anything specifically on this screen until you would click on a day where it says hey do you want to buy this so that'll be the uh valentine's uh snafu from this week so yeah they uh they made some oops on that but that was uh siege this week and we did okay on the Toy Island. Hopefully we can knock that one and maybe another two down. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that was uh, Siege this week.